Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this slider using HTML, CSS and a library called Swiper.js. Now in the previous video, we created the design of one of these cards. So this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the functionality of the slider. So here we can see we have these three navigation dots over here and we can click on any of them and we can go to that page of the slider and you can also click on this next and previous arrows over here. So we will add all this functionality in this video. Let's get started. Right now the first thing we need to do is we need to get the CDN of Swiper.js. So just go to Google and search for Swiper.js CDN and you'll find this link. So this is the official website of Swiper.js. So let's open this website. And this is the get started guide. And if you scroll down, here we can see we have the option of using CDN. So let's copy this CDN links to our code. So first of all, let's copy this CSS link. So let's copy this and let's go to our source code. And let's scroll up and uh, let's go to the head section. And here we will add the CSS. So let's paste it over here. Now the next thing we need to do is add the link of this JS file. So let's copy this script tag from here. And let's paste it over here just before the body ends. Now if you go back to the Swiper.js website and if we scroll down, here we can see this is how the structure of the HTML should be. There should be a slider main container division which is uh, this division right here with the class of Swiper. And in that we need to have an additional wrapper. So here we have this division of the class of Swiper wrapper. And in that we need to have these slides. And for the slides we have this Swiper slide division. And in that we have this slide one text. So all the code that we have over here, this card division, should go inside the swiper slide division and then if you need to add pagination you can add a division for pagination and if you need to add next and previous buttons you can add that over here as well so let's go ahead and add this type of structure to our html so let's go back and the first thing we need to add is a container division and here we can see we already have this container division with the class of swiper and in that we also need to have this additional wrapper so let's go back and here we will create a division with the class of swiper wrapper and let's cut this ending tag from here and let's paste it down here and now we can see we have the swiper division and in that we have the swiper wrapper division and in that we have the card now for this card let's also add a class called swiper slide so let's tap swiper slide and in the swiper slide division we have all the content of the slide now the next thing we need to do is we need to have four different slides so here we can see we have this one, two, three and four different slides. So I'll just copy this uh, division from here, swiper slide. And uh, let's copy and paste it three more times. And now for the second slide, we need to change the image to post2.jpg. And we also need to change the title. So let's change this to post2 title. And in the same way, let's go ahead and change the image and the heading of the third slide. So let's change this to post3.jpg and post3 title. And then lastly, we have this post4 slide. So let's type post4.jpg and post4 title. Right now, let's save this and let's go back to our design. And this is how it looks right now. Right now, the next thing we need to do is initialize the Swiper.js library. So let's go back and here, let's create a script tag to add all the JavaScript. So let's tap script and in the script tab we will add all the javascript needed for the swiper.js library now the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable so let's tap swiper let's name it swiper and we need to set it to a new swiper so let's tap new and then we need to type swiper so this is going to be a new instance of swiper now here we need to add some options so in parentheses you need to type the class name or the id of the element so if you scroll up here we can see for the container division, we have this class of swiper. So let's add that over here. Here I'll just type dot swiper. And now if we go back to our website, here we can see that we already have this slider. We can go ahead and slide through to the next slides. Now there are some more things we need to do. So the first thing we will do is we will display two slides in a view. So let's go back and here we will add one more argument and this will be an object and here we can add different options so let's tap slides per view 
and we'll set it to two. And now if you go back here, we can see there are two slides in a view. And let's also add some gap between these slides. So for that, let's type space between and uh, let's try 20. And now we can see there is 20 pixels of space between these slides. Right now, the next thing we will do is we will add these navigation dots over here. So let's go back to our JavaScript and here we need to type pagination and here we have to set an element. So we need to type L and here we need to add an element. So let's scroll up and here in the swiper division, let's create a division and uh, we need to add the same class over here for the element. So let's give it a class of swiper pagination. And now let's scroll down and here let's type swiper pagination. And we'll also set it to be clickable. So let's type clickable and let's set it to true. Right now let's go back and here we can see we have these navigation dots and we can click on these dots to go to the next slides. Now the last thing we need to do is add these arrows. So we need to add the next and the previous arrows. So for that let's go back and for the arrows also we need to add divisions. So let's create a division with the class of swiper button next. You can add any name you want over here. And we'll also create one more division with the class of swiper button prev for the previous button. And now here in the JavaScript you need to type navigation. And here we need to add the name of the elements. So we need to type next L and we need to set it to the next element button. So we have this class of swiper button next. So here we need to type swiper button next. And in the same way we need to type prev L and here we need to set the class of the swiper button prev. So let's type swiper button prev. Right now let's go back to our design and here we can see we have this next and previous buttons. Now the buttons are not clearly visible over here. So we need to make some changes in the styling of these buttons. So let's go back to our code and here we can see we have this class of swiper button next and swiper button prev. So let's go to a style or CSS file and let's style those buttons. So let's type swiper button next and swiper button prev. And let's set a background color of white and let's also add a padding of 8 pixels and we'll also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 0, 15 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 3 pixels, RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and let's go back and now we can see we have the correct styling for the next and the previous buttons so if you click on the next button we can go to the next slides and if you click on the previous button we can go to the previous slides so everything is working alright so that's basically how you can create a slider using HTML, CSS and the Swiper.js library. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.